Hey everyone, um, I think I'm live. If anyone is watching right now, let me know. Hello, hello, hello. Um, Facebook Live has a new interface and I'm using this for the first time. So it says I've, I've already been live for 30 seconds. I have no idea. If you guys are watching this, um, say hello. Please say hello, leave me a comment. I have no idea what's going on, but hopefully this is working. Anyway. Um, I really wanted to, I'm actually just stepping out the door in a moment um, because I have to run to the bank. So yes, priorities. Um, but I really wanted to come on um, live and just kind of, this is something that's kind of been running through my being and my energy for a little bit. And I just thought I would share something with you. Um, some of you might be like, again, you know, in a state of overwhelm or various different kind of layers and levels of um, just kind of stress or, or anxiety. Um, there's a lot going on in the world. Um, but on the flip side, some of you might be feeling really great. Um, and some of you might be really enjoying this time, um, perhaps with your family, perhaps with your friends. Maybe um, you just needed a break. <laughs> And now the world is basically forcing you into one. So it's like a huge permission slip for the universe to chill the fuck out. And maybe you are really enjoying that. Um, and what I wanted to talk about, um, and this is kind of sometimes, you know, I guess it's kind of like a form of like survivor's guilt, although that's like a whole nother element. But often what time, uh, oftentimes we can feel really good about something and kind of tend to want to shut it down because we feel kind of ashamed or guilty about actually um, having things or being better off than others or um, having maybe resources that others don't have. And I want to talk about this because I think sometimes there's a lot of shame and guilt around this. And I'm not even just talking about money, although that does sometimes happen with money. Often, sometimes the more um, income sometimes people make, the more they will give away because there's this sort of like weird guilt around, you know, I, I can't possibly be allowed to like have this much. So I have to like, you know, give it to others immediately. But this can also be with our energy, you know, so it might be like, I'm feeling really good and vital. I need to all of a sudden immerse myself in helping everybody else because everyone else is stressed out right now. Right. And there are people, you know, particularly healthcare workers who are really um, being pushed to the max. And I'm not saying, you know, it's not good to support them. It's really good to support them. That's not what this whole thing is all about. Um, what it is about is I really just want you to give yourself, and if you have to write it down and write yourself, like when we were in school, I remember in elementary school, if you wanted to go to the bathroom, you needed like, or do something, you needed to leave the class. You needed a permission slip from the teacher to be allowed to leave. I don't know if you guys had this in your school, but I remember in elementary school and that's, you know, to make sure that you came back to class and didn't just go wandering off, right? Um, accountability, <laughs> adult accountability. But really, sometimes we need to write ourselves our own permission slips to feel good. And, you know, some of us might be struggling to find those places within our lives and ourselves that do feel good. And if that's you, um, I have something for you uh, Friday, this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday coming up. So later on in the week, I'll be doing a full four part live series. So I'm going to be doing a free training. I'm going to try to keep the videos a little shorter because in the past um, they've been really long. And so I kind of want to make this manageable, digestible little chunks, but it is a full on workshop. So do come prepared um, with a pen, with paper, with a journal, whatever you like to write with, with your full attention, with your you know doors locked and your windows closed and your phone notifications off and all that kind of stuff, because this is a real workshop and it is going to be online on my Facebook live. Um, and I can put the, the actually the event um, in the comments below. So if you're curious about that, you can check it out. Um, that's more details on that. So if you're feeling really overwhelmed and you're feeling like it's you're struggling connecting to this feeling of goodness and resources and support, and you're like, what the hell is that right now? I just there's just too much, and you know everything is to the max right now. I have no energy. We're struggling with kind of burnout 
fatigue, that kind of stuff. So that is for you. Um, if you are, so I, I have someone reacted. So yeah, let me, let me know. Give me a comment. Again, um, Facebook has a new live platform and I'm, this is the first time using it. So I have no idea if you're out there watching me, <laughs> if you're watching me, please let me know. <laughs> Otherwise I am basically talking to myself. So I like the interaction. Um, when you guys comment and give me some feedback, because I know you're there, you I know you, I can feel you listening um, and present. Um, and if you have questions, then I can address them. So anyway, um, for those of you who actually might be in a different place, maybe you're feeling really good. You know, maybe this, like I said, maybe this is a big permission slip from the universe for you to actually kind of dive into things that you have been you know, maybe longing for, for a really long time. Oh, Lisa, thank you so much for commenting. Now I know I can see your comments. <laughs> um, and yes, I do like to be generous with my energy uh, because I like to offer different levels of, um, of resource for people, right? So again, again, if you are, if you know, you're kind of like, I'm feeling really good, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be feeling really good. The message that I have for you is that, you know, particularly during times of crisis, particularly during times of stress, and this can happen sometimes, you know, I've, I've heard this and I've had this, my own experience with this in periods of grief, because when we are in these deep and intense emotional stuff, sometimes emerging through that are these periods of like joy and spontaneous, like goodness. And what it's really important to remember is this is healthy. You know, when, when it comes to um, the human spectrum, we have all the things. So you can feel simultaneously sad and in grief for what's happening in the world. And at the same time, in enjoyment and joy and pleasure in the experience of maybe what's happening in your own household, in your own life. You know, maybe you're, you're doing this wonderful creative project. You know, I'm hearing a lot of people around me diving into, you know, courses and learnings that they've been wanting to do for a really long time and actually spending a little bit of time in their own being, in their own body and kind of having permission for that for the first time in a really long time. And these are really, really important. So why it's really important to give yourself permission to feel pleasure, to feel joy, to feel good, particularly right now, is it's important to express all of, and what I refer to, and if you've been a client of mine, you probably hear this a lot. I refer to our experience as kind of like a rainbow spectrum, right? When we are in, um, stress or trauma, when we are in grief, when we are in, you know, like global crisis, we tend to only focus on one color. Maybe we're only seeing red right now, you know, survival mode, survival mode, survival mode. And we forget that we still have access to the entire color palette of the rainbow, right? And what's important to remember is that sometimes the antidote to balancing the red is the greens and the yellows and the purples and the fuchsias and all of the other colors that we have access to. So what I really wanted to share with you today is one, if you already are connecting to these spaces and places of kind of pleasure and joy and are actually really enjoying your time in isolation, you know, everyone's talking about how to deal with it as if, as if it's this horrible thing. And, you know, perhaps I'm talking to the introverts. <laughs> The, the hiding introverts out there. Finally, you have permission to be you fully in your own little space. And maybe you're exploring different ways of working and different ways of being that are actually really natural to you. You know, it's interesting um, in the videos that in, in the workshop or play shop that I'm going to be um, gifting you um, later on this week, I'm going to be talking about some ways you can connect to your resources 
But for those of us who are already connected, maybe not even consciously, but we have these like little blips of joy. And I love Brene Brown kind of talks about this too. She talks about how we kind of, when we have these moments where we feel really great and something really amazing is happening, we will immediately go to doom and gloom right after as if we are not allowing ourselves full permission to receive our full capacity of actually being able to enjoy goodness. You know, if you've ever read um, The Big Leap by um, Gay, I think it's Gay Hendrickson, great book, but he talks about this, he refers to it as the upper limit problem. Um, but really, what we're doing when we connect to pleasure, when we're, what we're doing when we connect to these resources is we're our cup is expanding. So we're talking about not just filling the cup and our cup overflowing, but our cup now expands, right? And so if you have an overflowing tiny little teacup, <laughs> you can give the little overflow that's happening. But if your overflow is this like giant, massive fountain, imagine the excess and overflow that's coming from that. And so this is what we're doing is, as we're connecting to our resources, as we're connecting to pleasure and joy and play and all of these things. And these things are essential to what's going on right now. It is not frivolous in times of crisis to play. It is actually what helps us to survive and thrive and get through to the other side because we are gonna get through to the other side. These things happen in cycles. We will have more. We have had many. You know, this is part of the natural rhythm of Earth, right? This is the part of the natural rhythm of our experience here on the planet as humans. So I really encourage you to write yourself a permission slip to actually enjoy whatever little moments they are. Maybe it's dinner with your husband or your wife or your kid or you know, your loved one, maybe it's having a conversation with someone that you haven't had a conversation with for a really long time. Maybe it's the closet that you've been wanting to clean out forever and now you can Marie Kondo that shit all over the place, <laughs> you know? And she talks about, you know, of course, if you ever read the book Magic, uh, the, the, was it lifetime, but life changing magic of tidying up? It is life changing. And so these little small pleasures that we can take, they seem really stupid and frivolous and we can poo poo them and, you know, they're not practical. They are, they are the most practical thing you can do right now for yourself and others. Being in this space, even if it's for five minutes in a day, of really enjoying, enjoying whatever it is, enjoying painting, maybe you're taking up knitting or whatever. Maybe you hate, 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 you know, going out all the time and now you have to cook at home and you're enjoying looking up all these recipes online and really getting connected to your creativity. These are just different ideas, right? There is, there are so many gems in every single experience. And I'm not asking you to bypass the reality of the stress that's happening as well, because there is a lot of stress, whether it's directly in your household, you know, maybe you have a family member or you yourself are a healthcare worker and you're feeling um, maxed, in which case I definitely invite you to come into the play shop that I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be giving you some practical resources and tools that are vital. Like these are foundational. This is stuff that we should all be doing. And I say that in terms of we should all be doing because when we do do these little practices and there are really simple, but really foundational skills, what happens is everything else we're doing becomes so much easier. It's so much easier. It's really like we unlock magical energy that we didn't even realize we had. Um, I know this from my own experience in my own life, and I see it all the time in my clients. So I definitely recommend for everyone to check that one out because I think there's some gems for everyone. But I really wanted to right now just speak to you if you are feeling guilty, if you are feeling secretly happy that you are locked up in your house for whatever reason that is, 
but write yourself a permission slip to feel all of those things, including joy. So be in, you know, if you are sad, feel sad. It's okay to feel that too. It's okay to feel grief. It's okay to feel all of what's happening on the planet right now. And it will be much easier to feel all of the, the heavy stuff when we're equally connected to the light stuff. So I really, really, really encourage you. It's okay to find joy and pleasure in this. It's okay to find um, laughter in these experiences. It's okay. And it's not only okay, it is your personal magic alchemy in order to transform your experience of what's uncomfortable without avoiding it. So we don't have to fight the uncomfortableness. It's not about fighting and it's not about avoiding it either because that's what we like to do too. This is not about any of that. This is not about fight, flight, avoidance. This is actually about surrendering to it with the capacity, with a bigger capacity, with, with a bigger holding space with a bigger fountain to really, really, really be able to be with this stuff. All right, my dears, um, I am off to the bank because I do need to get some cash and pay my rent uh, for this beautiful space. I still need to do a video for you guys of my new space. Um, and I forgot to, for those of you who are new to me, I've, I've been connecting with new people that I don't know if you are familiar with me. Um, but I guess before I sign off, I'll just tell you a little bit about who I am. I'm Jen and I am a fear alchemist, self-healing expert. Again, um, if you want some support that, uh, play shop, I like to call it a play shop rather than a workshop because, um, again, I like to help connect you with that sense of curiosity because this is really that space of curiosity when we can be in that space we extend into this leapfrog space of possibility and limitlessness, which is our natural state of being as humans, really. Um, it is the antidote. Curiosity is our antidote for all the stuff we don't know what the hell to do with, all the stuff that we don't know what to deal with it. We don't, we don't need to deal with it. When we can be in that curiosity state, we naturally find solutions find ways, find alternatives, find limitlessness that's within us. So again, that's this weekend. It starts Friday. There will be replays. So I definitely check the comments. If you guys have questions, um, you can send me a question here. You can send me a private message. I tend to respond to my private messages a little faster than the comments, but I will get back to everyone for sure. And if it's a really good question, I'll do a little live training on that. Um, what else is there to say? Ah, uh, yes. Um, as a larger container and space of offering, end of April, April 24th, I'm opening, I'm reopening the doors to Deep Courage. And this is group format, seven weeks. Uh, it's going to be an amazing and incredible container. Um, if you are curious about that, um, let me know. It's level one, so Deep Courage level one. It is the foundational. Deep Courage really is the process that I've developed over the last like 15, 20 years um, that I've guided my own self through, through our trial and error, and have basically created a format, a structure to be able to help you come to your own sense of safety, your own sense of goodness, your own sense of well-being, your own sense of power and potency and life force energy in a really powerful way. So it's a combination of classes with me and it's also a combination of healings with me and um, some great, simple and powerful tools that you will have access to for a lifetime. Um, and the other special thing that I'm doing for this, um, this particular deep courage session is that everyone who's in this group will have access to be able to actually join all of the other um, offerings that I do. So I will be deep, running deep courage at least two to three times a year. I haven't decided yet, um, but you'll be able to leap into um, as an alumni 
into the um, the offerings that are to come. And I'm doing that because this work is so foundational that we need to get back to basics and we need to get back to basics, not just once, but it's like, you know, when you do a really powerful course or you read a really powerful book, I have this um, happening. I'm actually reading uh, the big leap again. And I find I go back to it over and over and over again. And even in my practice, certain key elements I come back to over and over and over again, because even though we learn the lesson, we deepen the understanding, we deepen the integration, right? It's not about getting it here because we get it here. That's easy. <laughs> the hard part is getting it here in our, in our heart and then in our bones, in the cellular level, right? We can get it mentally. It's often really easy to get it mentally. It's a lot more challenging to integrate it into your body. So this is why this format is so powerful. And this is why this format, I wanted to make it accessible in layers. So as you come down through the layers of your own unfolding, you can come back into that container space whenever you need it, whenever you need that extra support. So that is that. Anyway, loves, have a wonderful Monday. It's actually my Friday today. Um, in the next day or so, I'll be checking messages and stuff like that. But then you probably won't hear from me for a couple days and I'll be back um, for the beautiful play shop. Love you lots and enjoy, really enjoy. Like seriously, take a few moments to reflect. Like what are you enjoying right now? You know, this is your pre-homework if you're going to join me in the workshop, play shop, pardon. Um, what are you enjoying right now? What is working for you? What is the maybe little, little secret thing that you don't want to admit that's actually um, helping you connect to an aspect of yourself that you didn't know about? Something delicious, even. Okay, loves. Ciao.